when it comes to building a world-class race car. You can't just strap a turbine engine to a chassis. There's a lot of science that goes into building a jet dragster that's fast and safe. So, what were they thinking? Drag racing seems like a speed contest, but in fact, it's an acceleration contest. It demonstrates how quickly the dragster will increase its velocity. The maximum speed of up to 300 miles an hour is reached usually at the finish line. The higher the momentum, the more difficult it is to stop. But an additional force comes into play. The drag of the custom parachutes deployed. Before we go too far into the mechanics, let's talk about the human factors. Attire, customization, adrenaline, and G-force. To protect the body, the driver wears a variety of layers and custom designed safety gear designed for worst case scenarios, including fire retardant shoes, a custom fitted racing suit, neck cowling, gloves, helmet, plus a required device known as a Hans device, which supports the head and neck. Unlike many other race cars, dragsters are built around their drivers with all physical attributes considered, height, weight, length of arms, even gender, as safety and ergonomics plays a key role in success. With excessive speed, comes G-force, which has extreme effects on the body. With the shock caused to the human body, the central nervous system produces adrenaline, which causes the heart rate and blood pressure to increase. This makes the body respond differently than under normal circumstances. Chris and Elaine Larson, co-founders of Larson Motorsports, know a thing or two about racing. They oversee all aspects of the business and operations of the cars. The forces on your body are just incredible. I'll feel five G's when I launch this car. It's enough to just knock you back in the seat. You're so happy that you got your helmet, your Hans, you're, you're buckled in as tight as you can. When it comes time to shut that car off, you pull the throttle and the parachute and you are thrown forward at seven G's. Your head comes forward, your hand comes up, you reach for that reserve and you're just happy that you've made it to the end. To achieve winning speeds, it takes a lot of power, and unlike top fuel cars, jet dragsters use thrust for propulsion. Over 5,500 pounds of thrust, much like a rocket. The engines are the same as those used in fighter jets. While engines push horizontally for thrust, they're slightly tilted at one degree to assist in pushing the nose downward. To enhance that force, small wings on the front of the car help push for downforce and assist in steering. And to achieve top speeds, these GE J85 jet engines require precision tuning. Shock diamonds are evident as supersonic gases leave the engine. The gases encounter the ambient air pressure, which results in a complex interaction where the gases compress and then expand repeatedly, resulting in the diamond pattern. I hope that what you take from this today is that you can take science and math and apply it to any industry that excites you just like we have at Larson Motorsports. So, what were they thinking? Probably that it's a lot of fun. <laughs>